Now, one of the elements which we often focus on when talking about entrepreneurship in Africa is the rise of incubators like IHAB and NILAB. They are the vanguard of a growing body of firms and individuals who've made a business out of making entrepreneurs more efficient and better skilled. CCTV's Raman Yang spoke to the co-founder of one such firm called Sinopis. Here is part of what he had to say. Uh, one of the first things that we see with entrepreneurs is great ideas but lack of knowledge for how to execute those ideas how to bring them to reality so when we work with entrepreneurs uh, typically a lot of the things that we see is um, lack of knowledge about financial management how do you manage the books for your business how do you do cash flow projections um, another big big area that we typically tend to see is also identifying the market um, understanding who your customers are and how you're going to reach them and build a successful business you know one of the things about entrepreneurship is that all around the world it's typically not in school curriculum so in Kenya you definitely don't find it in school curriculums in the US as well you can have people who've gone all the way to MIT and studied to become chemical engineers, but they don't have the first clue about entrepreneurship. So in many instances, what you see is that the skills that we're trying to teach people surrounding entrepreneurship, on a global level, they're lacking. But in Kenya particularly, I think there's a bit more of an acute lack of opportunity for someone who wants to pursue entrepreneurship to be able to take that opportunity by the horn and get the skills that they need to really succeed.